This morning, we continue following medical history in the making. We first told you back in 2021 about doctors at the Cleveland Clinic working to find a vaccine for the most aggressive form of breast cancer. Now we're hearing from one of the first women to participate in the clinical trial. Our Tanisha Cordell joins us now live from the clinic with more on her story. Good morning, Tanisha. Good morning, guys. You know, we talked about it earlier this morning about the courage, right? That Jennifer Davis really had to go through and sign up for this trial in the first place. But she says, you know, triple negative breast cancer really took a toll on herself and her family, as we all can imagine. So when she learned about the opportunity to beat this disease and prevent it, she was all in. Since getting the vaccine, I have found that I've been more at ease. It's been nearly five years since her diagnosis, but now a sense of relief. Jennifer Davis was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer in 2018. It's a rare form of cancer. According to the Cleveland Clinic, it accounts for about 15% of all breast cancer cases, but the number is disproportionately higher for breast cancer deaths. Recurrence rate for triple negative is really high. Um, prognosis is not the greatest um, if it does come back. So Jennifer turned to the Cleveland Clinic for help. She went through very aggressive and typical chemotherapy. That was followed by a double mastectomy and 26 rounds of radiation. But she knew her journey was not finished just yet. Once treatment is done, you know, every ache and pain that I had, I thought that it had come back. So to have an opportunity to get a vaccine that can potentially you know, make sure that it never recurs was huge. The mother of three jumped at the chance to participate in the Cleveland Clinic's trial. There is a window of time after a patient's diagnosis and treatment that they are eligible for the study. And thankfully, Jen was still within that window and actually became our first patient who enrolled in the trial and got treated with the vaccine. Doctors say the vaccine works by targeting a milk protein that is expressed in about 70% of triple negative breast cancer cases. It's already proven safe and effective in preventing breast cancer in mice and stopping the growth of existing breast tumors. The initial phase of the trial started off small with 18 to 24 patients. The latest phase is currently underway, studying those who are cancer free but at high risk for triple negative breast cancer and who have already decided to undergo a mastectomy to lower their risk. Jennifer says the process is long, but she's hopeful for positive results. If we can just wipe out triple negative breast cancer altogether, that is the end goal. And I think that would be amazing. All right, now Jennifer says she's going to keep going through with her clinical follow ups just to make sure there's no cancer reoccurrence. But Dr. Cruz, who you heard from, says as Jennifer is nearing her five year mark, her future looks bright, which is so such great news for Jennifer and her family. Now, as for that trial that Jennifer was a part of, we're told the results from that first phase will be announced next Tuesday. I'm Tanisha Cordell, News 5.